Hi everyone, welcome back. So uh, for this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be using StatGrunch to help me get the uh, z-score from a given area. Okay, so it's almost going to be the same thing, except we'll be inputting um, our information into different boxes. Okay, so first thing I'll need to do is uh, open up my normal calculator because we're dealing with uh, z-scores. So that's under stat, calculators, normal. And because we are dealing with z-scores, we want to leave the mean at 0 and standard deviation at 1. Okay, so now this time we want to find the z-score, so we won't be putting anything into this box. We'll actually be inputting into this box here. Okay, so for this problem, we want to find the cumulative area. I mean, I'm sorry, we're given the cumulative area. So <clears throat> this will go here. Type that in. Now, cumulative area is going to be the area to the left. So as you can see, the left side of the graph should be shaded, all right? That means we got the uh, correct z-score here. And there's another problem I want to run through, so let me uh, open that one up real quick. Okay, so in this problem, we're given the area on the outside. So if you watched the uh, other video that I created, um, you know that we can't do uh, <clears throat> outside using StatCrunch. What we can do is we can do between. So if you remember, the area under the curve is equal to 1. So if we subtract both of these areas from 1, that will give us the area between, and that we can use. Alright, so make sure you click on between, and I'll open up my calculator here, and I'll subtract these two values from 1. Okay, so that's the area that I want to input here. Okay, now I'll click on Compute, and there are, there's my two uh, z-scores. Alright guys, that's it for this video. It's pretty simple. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next one.